What is going on, beautiful people? How are you? My name is Wesley, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, the one place on World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, Instagram, A Connection TV, Twitter, What's the Good Guy? I made a post on Instagram, and the post reads as such. Uh, if someone knowingly has HIV, but doesn't tell you because they are undetectable. Do you feel betrayed, lied to, hurt, or all of the above? Then I saw one of the comments um, state that this is a biased question automatically because I'm leaning into the, the negativity of it all. Uh, so I corrected my comment and put our caption and put, or do you just not care, right? So there's over 233 comments, over 408 likes. Right. So I'm not going to go through all 233 comments because people were in their feels about this. Right. But I'm going to read a couple of them. A couple of people are saying all of the above, all of the above, protect yourself at all times, all of the above, all of the above. That's why it's important to protect yourself and also be on prep, because at the end of the day, you have to look out for yourself. Communication matters. I get it. All of it. I know most of the reasons that people don't disclose, including myself, when I first became HIV positive in 2006 is because of fear and stigma. We need to create safe spaces for folks to be transparent with one another. Out of respect, their HIV should be revealed regardless if they're undetectable or not. Um, uh, I definitely think you should let the other person know so that they can protect themselves, no matter if it is a hookup or whatever. And that's just my opinion. My question to this statement is, do you ask all you casual, do you ask all you casual encounters their stats? Because it's plenty of people walking around with SCD, STIs, but many are still sleeping around unprotected. But living in this lifestyle and you're not taking prep is crazy to me because many of us are not using protection to begin with. Uh, all of the above. Uh, guy did that to me once. We never got to that point. But I made sure, like other guys I date, if you have something, it's okay. I'm not ignorant like the others are. He told me he had nothing. A month later, he told me, and I was like, wait, that hurt because I was open and gave you an opportunity to be open, and you lied. That pissed me off. We still good friends, though, but shit, that annoyed me. Now, if I slept with my partner, then um, Scorpion says, all of the above, however, you have a uh, responsibility to yourself uh, to not F raw. HIV is no longer a death sentence, but it doesn't mean you have to live it. I respect a man who is upfront with me and ultimately lets me decide if I want to continue or not. Definitely just because someone is undetectable after their blood work doesn't mean it couldn't change before the time they do blood work, especially if they are trying to have sex with someone. Give me the chance to say I want to be involved with this person or not. Don't make the decision for me. Making someone fall for you and not telling them uh, a very important part about you is deceiving. So I asked this question because a lot of my ex partners have been positive and, and the majority of the situations that I was in, um, I did not know. Uh, and then there was one particular situation where I did know because the person told me and I stayed with them. Irregardless, interestingly enough, after all of the situations concerning the HIV uh, and my partners having it, I, I stayed with them. My first, my second relationship, um, the person turned out to be a pathological liar. Every job that I got them, they stole money from, they lied. Um, they had a boyfriend on the side and all of the things of the things of the things, right? And in that crazy situation, when I found out that he had been cheating on me, I, in my mind, I thought that we needed to get tested, even though we were using condoms, I thought that we needed to get tested and we did get tested and he ended up being positive. Um, even in that situation, after finding out that he cheated with me, finding out that he was positive and I was negative, I decided to stay because in my mind and my heart, I was in love. I think about it now at 42, I'm still negative. 
uh, that I was really dumb and a lot of my relationships, um, probably all of my relationships, I was really, really dumb, naive and hung up on finding and feeling whatever I thought love was, you know, um, I'm one of those individuals that I do not descend from a prominent, strong, is a strong family uh, background or foundation, right? And so for me, because of the lack of love I had in my family, I always outsourced it to like my friends and or, you know, people that I would get in a relationship with. And that has been my problem, right? And I've dealt with it and am dealing with it, right? Um, learning that to never jump into a, another relationship ever again. And, you know, learning from the red flags and the bullshit that I've had from past relationships, especially with regards to people that are, you know, HIV positive or whatever the case may be. Again, also stating that I'm not ignorant to the virus and how it works and which is why I um, still tried to make things work after knowing that they had, you know, HIV. But I posted this on my Instagram because I know individuals that have the virus and they continue to have sex with people and they don't disclose their status or they get away from ex answering the question or they lie. And, you know, these are individuals that have, you know, um, unprotected sex and, you know, people that like to share liquids and stuff like that, not to get too detailed because this is YouTube and you can't get too detailed and they don't tell people. You know, um, and so I came across something on social media and I wanted to exploit it a little bit uh, without attaching names to it now without being too messy and just putting that concept out there. If someone knowingly has it, but doesn't tell you because they are undetectable, how do you feel about it? And so that is what I'm asking the YouTube audience in this space. How do you feel about it? I got 233 comments on this Instagram post. I'm curious to see what the commentary is going to be under this video. I personally feel that if two people are going to have sex, don't dance around the topic of STDs, STIs, and what you may or may not have. Have the conversation. It needs to be a conversation. And for me, a red flag on whether or not I will continue with this person is how quickly or how hesitant they are with answering the question. Um, also, you know, use protection as best as possible and uh, know your status before going into a situation so that you know how to keep uh, checks and balances if anything does happen or if anything comes back. But it is very important for people to be honest. It is very important for you to have communications with your sex partner. And it is very important for people to know what's going on before they get involved. And if you are HIV positive and at this particular stage undetectable, it is important that you're honest with that. Now, some of the comments were saying that if it's just a one night stand, I'm not saying anything because I don't feel like I need to disclose my status to you because it's just a one night stand. I think that is false. I think that mentality is horrible and I think you should get your mental checked. It is very important to be honest if asked, right? Definitely if asked, right? If you're with someone and y'all don't have the conversation, they don't bring it up, you don't bring it up and you just do what you do, what you do, what you do. I feel both parties are at fault, but I feel like, I just feel like both parties are at fault. But if I come to a situation and I ask and you don't divulge, that's horrible. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like, I don't know, I think every situation is different, but I, I definitely feel like you should own up and speak the truth when asked. And I feel like if you are negative and you want to keep that status, I feel like you have the responsibility to see what is going on with the, your sex partner and ask and make sure that you know the person's status when you're connecting sexually, especially if it's unprotected, right? Um, I think those kinds of conversations are extremely important. And I think that it is not okay if you know that you have the virus and you can potentially pass it on, right? 
I don't think that that's cool. And so that's just my thoughts on it. But I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. Uh, leave your comments below on this video. And this is, you know, by no means an attack on anyone that is positive or undetectable or whatever the case may be. But it's definitely an important conversation to have and conversations that should be had whenever anyone is having sex. And not just regarding HIV, but regarding STIs, STDs, when the last time you got tested. All of those kinds of conversations are really important. Anyways, um, I got tested in December. Know your status. Um, some people get tested once a year. Some people get tested every three months. Whatever suits your fancy. But know your status to be let that be important to you right because if one withholds information and you don't even know what was going on with you you can't really be mad i mean you can but you can't because if you're not you know valuing your your situation why should someone else value your situation anyways leave your comments below let me know what you think and try not to get too crazy in these comments deuces